Well, hello folks, just another short short video here, just showing you how you can inscribe on a rare sat quite affordably. Now, I'm going to use a sat name because it will be cheaper in order to demonstrate it. So I'm going to try and find one that should be free. I'll just check this. Excellent. So, pizza emoji, pizza sat, pizza emoji dot sats is not a sat name yet. So, you would go over to inscribables. Uh, the website is inscribable.xyz. I'll leave a link for it below. <clears throat> it's a very user-friendly site. You can use file, BRC, text, or sats, and we're going to use a sat name. If you're going to be using an image, you can just press here and drop them in there. But press sats. We're going to put our sat name here. Then we will need a ordinal enabled wallet. So a taproot wallet. Right, then you put your ordinal enabled wallet in here. It should be a taproot wallet. You're going to want to use your taproot wallet. That starts with a BC1P. Uh, basically to ensure that it goes to an, an ordinals enabled wallet. Now the sats that they let you use are a random, so you can randomly do it and hope for the best, or pizza or a block 78. Because of the name, I'm going to use a pizza sat. Now the custom fee it will go at is what the mem pulls at, which must be five sats. We'll have a look. <coughs> yeah, we've got a nice low mem pool of two sats. Now incidentally, Scribables doesn't let you make it lower than five sats anyway. Even if you used to try and change it to two, it'll put it at five. So five's the lowest you can put it at. Now it's important to check the mempool because if you're doing a sat name or a self-inscribed project like a CCR, other people might be trying to mint the same image or the same name as you. So you might want to rev up your feed to make sure it doesn't get front run. Because I'm not too fussed and I'm just doing this as a demonstration, I'm just gonna So you would press inscribe sats, or then submit your order to the mempool. Now you can either press pay with wallet and connect your wallet to the site and pay that way or if you're a bit more security conscious like myself you can just copy this address here and you need to send it this amount of bitcoin here <clears throat> so you need to remember that number 19814 BTC okay and you will open up your wallet like so it's quite handy that you can still see a little bit of this address here so you can confirm it but you're going to send the bitcoin from your wallet to the recipient address from the receipt now if you want to double check you can see there BC1 PAD, BC1 PAD, that is indeed the correct wallet. Now you have to successfully remember what the amount was. It was three zeros and 19814. And that's all that's correct. If let's continue. Now, Hero Wallet or Leather Wallet as it's called now will try and rev up your fee because they just do that. You can lower that to a custom fee as well if you like and put it at five sats to make it cheaper too. Confirm, that'll send this transaction to the mempool. Press view details if you like and it'll open up a mempool transaction for you so you can see that on the actual blockchain. <clears throat> and here it is, see. The next block's going through at 2 sats in the next 10 minutes and our fee is at 5 sats so it should go through just fine. Now if we go back to inscribables, it will say on here to complete the con it will say on here to complete the transaction within an hour and 4 minutes. Now do not close this window or this model until the payment is confirmed and gone through. And you can keep your order ID here. I would recommend copying this. They do have a they do have a Discord if you run into any issues, but I don't think you will. I would just keep that window open though until this is confirmed. I'd wait a couple of blocks and then check back, or maybe just check on the wallet. I'll come back to this once it's confirmed and we'll double check that it is indeed a sat name on a pizza sat. Okay, okay, then once your mempool transaction has confirmed, you go over to your wallet, and yes, here we go, we can see. Pizza sat dot sats is sat on a pizza sat. I just showed you a moment ago in best in slot so you can see it's as a sat name. And here you go, there's the pizza sat tribute. The sat name pizza pizza sat pizza dot sats <laughs> on a pizza sat is right there. As I said, if you go on best in slots, you can see it's got the tags for the sat name, so it's a verified sat name, it's got the blue tick. Best in slots is probably the best for the API and really good for checking your inscriptions afterwards. But yeah, if you want to inscribe on a rare if you want to inscribe on a rare or exotic Satoshi, check out inscribables.xyz. Links will be in the description. Thanks very much. That's all folks.